Hi there, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Scorpio. This is your love and emotions reading. So your extended will be found in the Zodiac Intimate reading section on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, or click on that upside down triangle below. It's gonna take you to the description page and there's a link there to rent this extended. There's also gonna be a link there to follow me on Patreon where I do erotic tarot readings, okay? Your first card here, Scorpio, is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. A Scorpio flirting? Ooh, alert the press. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Someone's really in the moment. Someone here is feeling extreme connection. Mm -hmm. They're blushing. They're giggling. They're smiling. They're smirking. They're flirting. Kang dang a -lang. As I call him, King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. But he's that energy of being very aggressive, large and in charge, if you will. King of Wands energy is also, he's very passionate, very charismatic. He is he's a go-getter. Someone here is gonna go after something that they really, really want. The High Priestess, secrets, hidden emotions. The High Priestess here is keeper of secrets. It's like one's being very open and very flirtatious and friendly. The other one's more guarded. High Priestess is also someone very tapped in, someone who's very intuitive, someone who is very spiritual. Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Someone offers something big. Now this could be career change, a new job. This could be moving. But whatever this is, even if it's like a new offer, like a new relationship, you see how this Two of Pentacles is, they're kind of going back and forth on it. They don't know what they want to do. I don't know if I want to accept it. I don't know if I want to offer it. I don't know what I want to do. Someone's unsure. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they want to do. It feels like one person's extremely sure. They're very gung-ho. They're very... They're showing it too. Six of Pentacles. See, the thing is, is Six of Pentacles is reciprocity. Someone here is going to have to reciprocate or it's not going to be pretty. Right? The wheel will turn. Wheel of Fortune. Destined, faded. Fortune, luck. But the wheel will have to turn, meaning it's going to be a new cycle. If someone here doesn't reciprocate, hanged man, enlightenment. The hanged man can also be a pause. It's a stalemate. Hanged man can also be someone here becoming very, it's like, it's like a light bulb moment. Five of pentacles. Oh, wow. And five of cups. The light bulb moment can be someone says, you know what? If you're not into it, I got to go then bye. Somebody here could leave someone. If you don't know, if you're not sure, if you're not going to give me effort, however this is, whether it's the masculine or the feminine, okay? Um, it's the loss of it that, 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 that speeds things up, that finally gets things to move. Because it really is the case, right? It's like when you finally, it's like the reality of it. The reality of this is like someone says, oh my God, I do really want to be with them. Oh my God, I do really love them. There's a sense here of sadness and almost like a missed opportunity. It's a close, it's a close call too. I don't think it is a complete missed opportunity community 
there's a lot of people involved here that are like cheering it on a lot of people here that are watching you guys might have you know there's a soul tribe around you some of you guys may come from really big families you have big friend groups coffin this is the end death this can also mean something is over something has to end before something else begins something has to end before something begins something has to end for something to begin it could be a pause i channeled it for years start stop start again i think that there's this sense of not realizing how important someone was to someone not understanding like how much they really really love them or needed them or wanted them let go see someone i feel like it, this is not letting go of a person obviously you're gonna let go if it's a devil dick or it's someone toxic or you know karmic relationship or whatever but this to me this let go to me feels like let go and and allow yourself to go with the flow instead of holding back someone here may have been holding back out of fear Fear of rejection, fear of ask your angels, fear of being wrong. You're ready. Someone may have felt they weren't ready. I'm not ready to be in a relationship. I'm not ready. And apparently you are. Then that's not for everybody, right? You have to practice discernment here. But for whoever this is, apparently you are fucking ready. Wow, you have here you are, death, Scorpio with the fool taking a leap of faith new opportunity embracing the unknown what's unknown well you don't know exactly how something's going to end we don't know for sure we're not exactly positive how, how something's going to end we don't really know that's the risk the archer archer is someone is very focused on something or someone right is someone is very focused it's it's like getting having someone's full fucking attention mm, the lovers you definitely got someone's attention all right lovers is gemini it also is making a decision in love but it also is physical attraction between two people magnetic attraction it literally says here timing during the spring within four to eight weeks that's what it says right up here and it says it on all of those types of cards right in this intuit oracle deck but i don't usually notice everything on the card it's sort of what you know spirit guides me to and in this card it feels really important four to eight weeks during the spring and the sun someone awakens to the fact that they realize they want to fucking be with you they want to be with you forever you're the one that I want, one that I want, ooh, 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 darling, the one that I want. Someone wants to be committed, someone realizes it's you, they have some kind of enlightenment or the truth of it comes out. The sun is also healing, the sun is also success. The diamond ring's obvious, right? It's marriage, it's, it's, it's proposal, engagement, it's, but it's also, it's also union. And it feels like you may not have realized how in sync you and this person actually was. You or them, right? Put yourself where you belong. Somebody here may not have realized just how I don't want to say perfect this is, but it feels pretty close to it. Nothing is perfect, obviously, right? But it feels pretty fucking close to it. Nine of Wands, see, that's that wounded warrior. Someone who was afraid to completely open up. Someone was afraid, they, they didn't reciprocate. And then someone said, if you're not going to reciprocate, I'm out. And then it woke someone the fuck up. Page of Swords, a lot of spying, a lot of keeping tabs and watching. It can also just be a younger air sign. But I mean, Scorpio energy is very FBI-ish. <laughs> it is. It's very, you know, keeping tabs three of wands so someone was watching while they were waiting or this or this period of, of isolation or alone they were watching keeping tabs maybe on each other 
Two of Swords, very indecisive. Someone here didn't know what they wanted. They just weren't sure. They didn't know. Hangs man again. Pause. But it also indicates a change of mind. And then now there's victory. So someone does change their mind and it does look like it's okay. I felt it earlier. It didn't feel like it was too late. Felt like they were cutting it really close though. All right, you guys, if you want to rent this extended, click on that upside down triangle below. As I said, we will be using the intimate cards and a few others. It will be located in the Zodiac intimate extended section on my website, saltwaterhillstower.com. Also in that link below is the Patreon link. If you love erotic tower readings, I do them there. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, XI underscore Missy underscore XI. And please be careful of the fake fraudulent accounts pretending to be me. I would never reach out to you. I would never solicit you. I would never DM you and ask you if you want a reading. Those are fucking scammers. I do not have multiple accounts. I have one on each, okay, you guys? I would never solicit you, ever. So please be careful. All right, I will see you guys in the extended Scorpios and Scorpio Cross Watchers. Love you.